Hello everybody, my name is Walter and today I want to show you how you can build my one wide expandable drop down bridge you can see in front of you. So for the demonstration, as you can see at the moment I have a little platform here, a little platform there and at the moment there is no way to get to this platform over there. But once I activate this lever here, a walkway comes down from the top and I can just walk over to the side here and once I'm done I can just go back and the bridge gets retracted back into the ceiling here. Okay, so now how much space will you need if you want to build this one? Basically the whole bridge is built in modules. Each module as you can see here is four blocks long, four blocks wide, the actual walkway is uh, below this uh, spline here, spine here. So uh, and uh, the total height of this whole thing here is six blocks, as you can see here. Due to the fact that the modules are alternating between left and right, the whole thing here is at least if you have more than one module, in total seven blocks wide. So uh, the whole uh, thing is. A multitude of four blocks long, seven blocks wide, and six blocks high. Now for the resources. You will need some kind of filling block again. Then you will need uh, slabs. You could use normal blocks here, but the slabs will leave you a bit more space and freedom for your head. Then for each module you need nine obsidian blocks, six slime blocks. For redstone, each module needs four redstone dust, two repeaters, one lever, and three sticky pistons. To interconnect those um, modules, you will need for each connection two extra redstone dust and one extra redstone repeater. And um, since both sides are actually two lines of redstone that are more or less um, not interacting with each other, you will need some extra redstone dust and maybe an extra repeater. Okay, so now that you have seen this whole thing here, let's start with the actual building. Okay, so as you can see here, I already prepared the two platforms at the end of the bridge and the walkway of the first bridge module. For the positioning of this whole thing, as you can see here, the walkway is at the moment three blocks higher than the platform. Now go to one side of the walkway and place four slime blocks like this and two more like this. Grab your sticky pistons and place them facing downwards like this. Make sure that the, this piston here is at the end uh, towards the exit of your bridge. So the start of the bridge with the lever to activate it all will be on this side here. Then grab a few obsidian blocks and place six around like this. And a seventh one up here. Number eight and nine to the side like this. Then grab a few normal blocks, place two like this, two here. Grab two repeaters, one on four ticks facing towards this piston here, and one on two ticks here. Then place four redstone here, and finally your lever here. And as you can see here, now if you activate the lever, the bridge comes down, you can walk along this part of the pathway at least. And if you deactivated it, it retracts again in the, into the ceiling. The reason for this um, lever here is to redirect the redstone which would otherwise uh, lead into this block here and uh, would uh, make this whole thing here work in the wrong order and it wouldn't function like it's intended to. Okay, so the next module is exactly the same, just mirrored to the right side here. And then the next one is with a, is again to a mirror to the left side and then to the right side until you are at the end. 
which I will be showing you after a little cut. And done! As you can see here, we have our alternating modules. The next step is actually filling in the ceiling. So uh, just to put normal blocks around like this. And don't forget to put some on top of the walkway, just like this. And once I filled all of this, I should be showing you how to connect those modules. Okay, as you can see here, now the ceiling is filled in. Last step is actually connecting those modules. Uh, for this, just run a line from this point here on into a block, then take it with a repeater, run it in another block and finally put some redstone dust here. And now those two modules are connected. The same thing uh, on this side here. So redstone, block, repeater, block, redstone. I'm putting those repeaters on two ticks uh, since this makes a little nicer sequence. But uh, this is actually up to you how you time those things here. Last thing is connecting both sides. So just run some redstone along. You can actually remove this um, and this lever here if you redirect the uh, redstone here using some redstone wire. And just to make the timing seem a bit nicer, I put here another repeater and finally connected are both sides. Final level, and once I've activated it all, you should now see that the bridge is down, and if I deactivate it, the bridge comes up again. Okay, so... And, as you can see here, I forgot to put some blocks up here. And here it seems. Okay. But, uh, as you can see here, it works just like it should. Okay. okay. So that was how you can build my one wide expandable drop-down bridge. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and, well, see ya!